Wake the fuck up! Wake the fuck up! Uh, 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 oh, 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 yeah. Uh, 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 hello everyone, and uh, welcome to the refresh step where you recover yourself from the main step. I'm your host for today, tomorrow, and the foreseeable future, Theodore Lu. And I'm with the hottest battler in the UK and admin of the Battles First English Wiki, Ayu Museki. Definitely didn't uh, fall asleep there uh, after I started the call, but yeah, anyway. <laughs> How, how are you feeling today, Ayu? Feel. Mm-mm. That was yeah. cringe. Stop oh, well. it. Uh, <laughs> we shouldn't try that. We shouldn't try this again. This is cringe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. We were one week away from the Germany Grand Open for Battle Street Saga. Let's go. Let's go. And this will also mark like the one week. Like one week before your first, very first German trip. Uh, uh actually, yeah, that's that's mm. that's true. That's true. I'm I'm very excited. Mm. Have, I, have, have I told you how I was trying? I was trying to uh, you know, make the trip to Germany and everything. But before that, I asked my mom. I asked my parents, "Hey, is it okay for me uh to go to Germany? Well, practically by myself, Mm-mm. and then uh, just uh, staying at home." With some random person, which I technically never met before, mm-hmm. <laughs> and, and, then my, and then my mom said, "You know, I went to Germany by myself when I was younger than you, so like, so like just just go for it." Like last, like that was, and I was like, and then I was like, "But like, wouldn't it be too soon to like make all the plans and everything?" And it's, and it's just like, "No, no, no. When, when when I was small, and then I, I when I felt like it, I literally." I literally just got on work and then just wrap up an airplane ticket to, to Taiwan and just call my friend on the spot. Hey, I'm coming to your house right now. It's like, <laughs> and I was like, Jesus Christ, that's wild. <laughs> Perfection. <laughs> Perfection indeed. Yeah. But yeah, I think it's, yeah, sometimes there are those kind of trips where you, if you plan too long for it, it will never happen. So yeah. Then no, you that's feel fair. like it. That's yeah, fair. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, it's cool. it, 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 no, it's just because I... Admit, really, admittedly, I've never really tried to plan a trip by myself. This is actually the mm-hmm. second time I do that. The first time was actually just a month ago when I planned my trip back home. Mm-hmm. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yes, everything is still very new to me. Mm-hmm. I mean, I mean, I mean. To be fair, technically, if I feel like it, I could literally. So like after visiting you in Germany, I I I get just like, hey, I'm gonna go to Belgium now. I'm just gonna ride onto this train, go to Ukraine, everything like that. But yeah. uh, no, it's, it's too much hassle for me. Yeah, I'll I mean, just go back home. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> I've been I've been for a bit. Uh, yeah, I mean like it's too expensive, but yeah. <laughs> it's not. Home, I want to go home. It's not really expensive, to be fair. Nah, I mean to go but, home. Oh, oh, uh, yeah. well. Ooh, yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, that's another different best. Let let's see. Like, uh, I'll open Sky Scanner now and see how. Uh, so while while you are uh, retelling <laughs> your no, part, I, yeah. I don't I don't think there's anything more to retell. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, I so mean, it's, yeah. go ahead. No, go ahead. Uh, I'm just I'm just uh, messing around with Sky Scanner since. Oh my god. So if I wanted to go home at August, uh, so the earliest uh, cheap flight is at 29th of August. And then I guess since I will not be going home that often, I will go probably at least two weeks. So let's go back at uh, 9th of uh, September, which makes it like two weeks. Uh, and then this is from Dusseldorf to Jakarta. The cheapest ticket is 860 euro. Jeez. It's not that bad, but it's it takes, actually not that bad. <laughs> yeah. But it's the, it took like twenty nine <clears throat> hours. Oh, I got this. Twenty nine hours. Yes. Oh, is it? Oh, is it because like it's like a transit flight, and then like you have to wait for like eleven hours, something like that. I guess so. Let's see. Uh, so it's uh with Qatar Airways, so it's actually not a bad uh flight as well. And it's then, not bad. Yeah, Qatar is bad at all. Yeah. Hmm. Actually, it's only twenty five <clears throat> hours. So, but they will need to wait in Doha for like ten hours. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Like your flight, 
shouldn't like shouldn't ever take more than. I mean, to be fair, I I don't think with current technology, like a a, a plane can really hover over for more than twenty hours anyway.、Mm-hmm. So like, if it's something more than twenty hours, then it's definitely because you're taking a transit flight and you and you you're waiting a goddamn long time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but unless it's not the, like a. I think like ten hours is still better in a way, like because you like you can kind of plan like okay, so I'm going to have a rest for ten hours. I'm going to take a nap,、uh, like in the lounge, or if I have the extra budget, then I'll probably go to the airport hotel or something. But it's like if you are like、uh, if you have to have a transit for like four hours, like what do you do? <laughs> it's like、uh, that's a、uh, good question. Yeah, it's like way too long. Uh, just to wait, uh, sit down and wait. But it's like too short if you want to commit to something long term like gaming or uh sleeping. So it's like yeah.、Uh... I mean, to be fair, if if it's eight hours, depending on uh where where the airport is, you can、mm. literally just run run out of the airport, like go to the main city or something like that for like a few hours and just come back.、Mm-hmm. I I know some of my friends do that. Like they're like. Like they were like, oh, technically, I've been in Finland before because you know I got a transit flight there. And literally, just ran out for two hours before I come back. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> that, that happens.、Uh, yes,、yeah. so, uh, I mean to be fair, to be honest, four hours, four four hours in the airport. Let's be honest, it's nothing. Like every Asian does that. It's like、mm-hmm. it's like you know like when your flight is like. Twelve a.m. in the morning, and then and then like your dad is gonna be like, "We're gonna be at the airport by six p.m. Well, else we're gonna be late." And everything.、Like, no. Oh, yeah, the good old days. Yeah, yeah that's the, the bureaucracy back then was like really long, right? So if you don't come like at least four hours for a special international flight, then it's basically you are not going to make it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the thing. Like, well, I mean, I mean to be fair, most of the time is um, it's actually. Like you, you, <clears throat> like it. It means like just dropping off the luggage and checking in. It actually doesn't take that long. Um,、mm. uh, but like, I suppose a lot of the times it's more like you want to reserve time for any unexpected.、Mm-mm. So like, so like that's why like is there always a little, a little bit early. Well, I suppose it's also quite different, like from country to country, like. Uh, over here in the Heathrow Airport, I can tell you there's like basically nothing to do. <coughs> I mean, I mean, just, I mean, just as England in general.、Uh, well, <laughs> but, yeah, I, I, but like, no, I'm just kidding. There's a lot of stuff you can do, but、uh, not in the airport though. But、uh, in Hong Kong, because like our airport, well, our airport, we can get there by like an express metro.、Mm-hmm. Just with, just within half an hour,、Mm-mm. so, and then we can drop off drop off luggages from outside the airport. Actually, um, like now that I think about it, like it's actually I think it's just a thing in Hong Kong because how of how small it is. But basically, so how to put this into context? <laughs>、uh, let's let's get them out of context first, and then we slowly add the context. No, it's fine. And so, like, so obviously, we have the metro system. Yeah. And like, you know, you have all these different lines. You know, like this one called, uh, the blue line, and there's the red line, there's the green line, etc. Right.、Mm-mm. And then、oh, yeah, there's、yeah. this specific line. We literally call it the airport line.、Mm-mm. So like, its final destination is the airport.、Mm-mm. Uh, well, technically not, but you know, just to、yeah. simplify things, like the final destination is the airport,、mm-hmm. and then ah,、uh, and then it, before, so like from the start to end, including the airport itself, it has a total of, if I remember it correctly, if, like five stations, I believe, uh, and in all these five stations, you can drop off your luggages,、Mm-mm. yeah. Yeah, yeah, and、uh, you can drop up there, and they will send it to the airport for you.、Mm-hmm. Obviously, before your flight.、Mm-hmm. Uh, so my my home is nearest to the start of the line. 
Mm-hmm. So that it's basically like the first station of the line. Mm-hmm. So, so that we, what we always do is just like take a taxi to there, mm-hmm. uh, to that station, uh, drop off our luggages. And then like literally because that station is situated, situated right in the middle mm-hmm. of like one of the busiest spots in Hong Kong. Mm-hmm. So like, so like it has shopping centers and everything like that. Mm-hmm. So like we, we drop off our things and we will literally just chill there until like, you know, roughly like two, like one to two hours before, always about time to take, to take the express to the airport. <clears throat> and like, that's, that's what a lot of people do as well. So yeah. Mm. So, so yeah, that's kind of, that's, that's why we can. So that's why like we're, te- we're technically like setting off earlier than is better, but we're not actually going to the airport early. Mm-mm. We're like dropping the luggage early and then chill and then take the express to the airport. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. yeah yeah it's it's hard to relate to that <laughs> because in indonesia because in indonesia it's uh it's 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 a nightmare like because uh now uh let's let's not go to my hometown since that's another piece altogether uh if you are in jakarta let's say you're in jakarta you're in uh west jakarta or central jakarta or South Jakarta probably since you are an expat uh, <laughs> to us so you're probably going to stay mostly in South Jakarta and then now you are going to uh, Soekarno Hatta Airport which is in the in yeah it's near it's pretty much near to the north but it's basically in another city another province even <laughs> uh, and then the trip if there is no traffic it will probably take like 30 40 minutes if mm. there's no traffic mm. yeah but it's jakarta uh, <laughs> hoping that uh, jakarta will have no traffic is basically <laughs> like hoping that you will grow another arm except for uh <laughs> some days but yeah <laughs> i mean i suppose you can just travel up to midnight yeah <laughs> yeah or or we actually have like uh also like we have started kind of like uh, the airport metro as well but it only goes to specific stations and to call it a metro it's a little bit of a long stretch since our main MRT system in Jakarta is a bus and the bus doesn't go to the airport yeah so the we have like a train that uh, like a local train but that's not necessarily uh, like equivalent to a metro or subway it's just a local train so we kind of like now people kind of use it as a uh, metro, but it's kind of like the stations are all pretty remote. So like when I first tried to take the airport metro, mm-hmm. I almost <laughs> I almost uh, got late because I cannot find the station. Oh wow! Yeah, it was like uh, inside like a housing complex or something, and then you have to move here, and then. Uh, you have to go to like the smaller, uh, smaller alleyway, and then okay, now suddenly there's this uh, really huge river, and then across the river there's the station, <laughs> and then and then I reach the station, and then now the next problem, where do where do I take the train from? Because they turns out they have like a special platform that only has the airport line, uh... yeah. <clears throat> and thank goodness they receive like uh, so you can ba- you basically need to pay before uh getting on the train of course uh but i will like they have like a counter like a special counter in which you can uh just pay with your card so that's another thing that i am thankful for is like suddenly they ask me like okay so we need to everything be paid by cash like no <laughs> this, is, this is a station in the middle of nowhere don't expect me to get cash like i need to get on this train in like five minutes uh, yeah not going to happen but yeah, that's probably why people like uh think i mean like uh whenever people talk about uh airports like people who are used to travel i think changi airport is the one that kind of ranks really high and now now that it's expanded really big and you can basically just go if you don't have even if you have only one hour of transit you can basically go to pokemon center in changi airport probably just look at it probably you can uh have time to uh, actually line up to pay something but yeah, maybe you can look at it and go home okay i, I visit pokemon center nothing nothing in japan but i visit pokemon center <laughs> you have a pokemon center there 
Yes. Dan yeah, nice. Pokemon Center dia ada Shake Shack. Ya. Yeah. Kan waktu tu Shake Shack is Shake Shack nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah. I mean, like, I never went there, so I'm kind of curious, but yeah. I mean, I mean, the the, the too many success in the UK. I mean, uh, to be fair, and uh, oh my god, I literally just look at Pokemon Center, and why am I seeing a Pikachu plushie <laughs> wearing a wedding dress? What the actual fuck? <clears throat> well, I mean, <laughs> and, and and anyway, and uh, Shake Shack is a, uh, it's pretty all right. I actually only mm-hmm. had it like. Twice in my whole life, Mm-mm. uh, but uh, like it, it was pretty all right. Was was it worth the price? Probably. Not. I mean, <laughs> it's like it's no, it's like mm-hmm. roughly the same as McDonald's, <clears throat> if I remember ah. correctly. Maybe a little bit more expensive. Mm-mm. Uh, but so like, basically, basically Yeah, yeah, but no, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's been so long ago. Like literally, uh, oh my god, you you've unlocked a core memory for me. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, during high school, we um, when when whenever it's off school time, mm-hmm. uh, we would be just chilling in London, mm-hmm. and then uh, there was this one time um. I was uh walking with my friends in uh in well in the center of London, so like around Le- Leicester Square, uh, <coughs> which is like basically where the Chinatown is. They love to go to Chinatown <laughs> okay. for fuck's sake. Classic. And then uh yeah, and 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 then like and then like after that, there's like the Tottenham Court Road and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And then like the, one of the Shake Shack is on this Tottenham Court Road, mm-hmm. and <coughs> this road. At the center is actually uh, a crossroad, mm-hmm. uh, so we so we'll walk until the crossroad, and then like we'll just look at Google Map, mm-hmm. and like one of like let's let's say A A said that uh, A was holding the Google Map, and then he said that oh uh, uh I well it says that we'll keep going straight, and then and then like B which is my bestie like my bestie said that like uh, no I remember it's to the right, and and A is like. <laughs> The Google map, Google map, she says we walk, continue walking forward, and and then, and then, and then my best is like no, 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 it's to the right and stuff like that, and and then, <clears throat> and then and then A is like fine, you can go to the right by yourself. If you find Shake Shack, phone us, okay? We're just gonna keep continuing forward, and then like that's what that's that's what we did. So like my bestie literally by himself just walk to the right, and then the rest of us just keep following A, and then of course we went to Shake Shack, and then like. <laughs> And then fifteen minutes later, my bestie just came back. <laughs> oh, wow. oh my god, it's a goddamn funny. This is like, <clears throat> like my bestie has a had a very high ego. Uh-huh. That he was always just doing some very stupid stuff. Uh, uh-huh. Yeah, just us. <laughs> I still love him. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I kind of understand that because I am, I am the, I am that uh, guy who always disappears. That's why I mean, like whenever I make a name this related to an animal, I always just chameleon, right? So it's basically the, there is a story to that. Uh, it's basically because back then uh, I travel not that much with my friends, but whenever I travel, at least. At least they claim that I always like walk or like walk uh by myself and then I walk faster than them and then I just disappear and then plan into the crowds and then they fell they say to be like you're like a you're like a freaking chameleon it's like uh we took our eyes for a second and then you just blend with with the crowds it's like what the- <laughs> uh, oh yeah my my best is like really short he's like uh. Mm-hmm. Oh, can he? Mm-hmm. I I actually don't know if he's even one sixty. I'm pretty sure he is, but like, <clears throat> it just feels like he isn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, <clears throat> well, I mean, I'm one sixty, yeah. but but that's like uh. I, I, well, I mean, I I can only know when I see you in person. So mm-hmm. like, we will know by then. He's shorter or taller than you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but yeah, like, yeah. But, but he's so short and he's also like a little bit chubby. Mm-hmm. It's not like it's not like the spear kind of chubby. It's more like cylinder. If mm-hmm. that makes sense. 
and, <laughs> okay. and, and, and so like so like we, we we love to call him potato or like <laughs> <Okay>. penguin <laughs> because <laughs> like, cause like, cause like his legs are so short it's so, are so short that like sometimes he doesn't walk like a pen- penguin hmm. so, <laughs> uh, oh my god so, yeah so we just call why, him why did I imagine that? yeah <laughs> yeah i mean i mean he got a bit taller now so Mm-mm. like uh can't really call him potato anymore but i'm, uh. I'm still just gonna call him potato so. uh. <laughs> There's a, there's a history, there's an endearing history to that. I guess he will be okay. I like I kind of oh, understand. Oh no, 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 he's not. Oh no, he never got angry at that. Uh, <laughs> she, she, she found. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Ah, I see. I mean, yeah. obviously, as long as you're not calling him in like a. Uh, hey, potato. Tall... <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, no. no. I'm, I'm, I mean, me calling him potato is fine, but like if you're calling him potato to insult him again, obviously it's not fine. Yeah. But yeah. <clears throat> I mean, like it's it's like it's like uh, if people are insulting Malaysia, right? It's like no, uh, we are the only one who are allowed to insult Malaysia. Maybe Singapore, but yeah. <laughs> but anyway, mm. <laughs> yeah, I kind of understand this feeling because all of my friends are really tall. So if you, I don't know if you have seen the photo where I uh wo- well not. I've really seen it before. Yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah, uh, the one where I. I, I uh, I'm- I admittedly, I did look up your Facebook before. So. <laughs> ah, correct, correct. <laughs> I mean, I mean, everything is public to some extent. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. It's just uh, it's like, hmm. Hmm. what what has he been doing? And it's like, oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I see. And then oh, you yeah, you see that all my friends are like basically electric poles when compared to me. So it's like, oh, <laughs> Lama. electric poles. Electric <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever, whenever there's an option to just crouch, I'll, I'll crouch so that the our height difference will not be as apparent. <laughs> oh my goodness! Mm. But yeah, speaking of core memories, uh, this is not a to- this is not a funny story. It's just like a because you kind of tell me like how you spend your time waiting for the <clears throat> plane, right? Yeah. So I used to, like, whenever I because I go to Singapore often, right? And then, yeah. in one of the terminal, so it's kind of it. I went there often, but it was too often that like it the uh, terminal one and terminal two kind of plans in, and I never really remembered, uh, which one is which. But like one of the mm. terminal, they have like this uh spots where you can basically, uh, use a foot massage machine for free. Oh, okay. Yeah. So basically, they were sponsored by a. Uh, I don't know where where the company came from, but basically, this company like uh it's probably not donated, <laughs> yeah, not donated, but basically they put as their advertisement they put, uh, like their foot massage machine in the airport area, like the waiting area. So I was like, yeah, I need to go there like three hours earlier so I can make use of this foot massage machine. Like that is my only goal for coming early. Bruh. Yeah. <laughs> the good old times, man. Now I go to Düsseldorf Airport and then, hmm, like, what do I do now? <laughs> Düsseldorf Airport is too close to home now. Like, and un- I mean, like the only impact, like, unless unless Deutsche Bahn uh mess up like they always do, uh, you will probably go. Uh, you will probably get to the airport within like thirty minutes. So yeah, it's like, eh. Now now the airport is just. Somewhere where I uh, pass by when I want to go to the shelter. Hmm. Mm. But yeah. The yeah the. I mean, like the talk about trains make me really uh miss my times in Singapore. It's like also because uh, speaking of airport line, so actually uh there's this line in Singapore called the Northwest Line. If I'm not wrong, so Northwest Line is the green one. So at one point it will uh, kind of split, and then uh, the split in, in in the splitting station. If you take the other like the train right across the platform, you can mm. go to the you can basically go to the airport. Okay. Hmm. It's just quite interesting. Uh, and then oh yeah, and then like one time uh, I went to an. Uh, like a vanguard event i think like a fan like a vanguard event in that was held in the expo like the singapore expo which is like one stop away from changi airport uh, okay 
Yeah, yeah, and then after the event was done, I took the train and I I either did not, did not uh, concentrate enough and I just took the train to the Changi Airport and then or I just thought yeah it's it's going to be near so I I'll take it just to see the airport and then go home. Mm-hmm. It was not by the way. <laughs> it took me like like yeah, usually like one station in an MRT is like around five minutes, but I think this one is a little bit longer uh, since it's, it's a special line and it took like ten minutes or something. Oh, so ten it's, minutes. Nothing. Yeah, it's still it's still short, but I mean like compared to like your normal MRT, right? That's huh, why why are we not reaching anywhere now? <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then uh, through that through that uh, train ride, I contemplated because there's this uh, like because in this tournaments there usually there's usually a sh- uh, space where uh, the local shops can open their own store and then uh, basically just sell their wares, right? And then at this time, I saw like uh, the wedding like the wedding version uh, deck box of the Muse, like the love the first love life. All right, Muses, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I saw the Nozomi one, and then uh, because she's my favorite from the first generation. But there's a, so basically mm, I, I saw, why. yeah, I saw uh <laughs> that tag box, and then I was like, huh, it's like fifteen bucks or something. But at, at that time, I was like on sale by on student, uh, student allowance, right? So it's like mm, fifteen bit, bucks. Yeah. It's a lot for that box. Yeah. It's uh, it's ten to fifteen. I'm, I I forgot how how that's expensive still, that's, it is. That's, that's, that's still a lot. That's yeah. still a lot. I mean, I guess like fifteen right. Singapore dollars. It's probably ten US Singapore. dollars, but yeah, oh, still, okay. <laughs> still, still. I mean, like for a student, I think it's still a lot. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's still it's, it's still a bit on the higher end, but yeah, like yeah, yeah. It's, it's 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 like affordable, Mm-mm. acceptable. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's it's normal. It's basically normal price. It's not it's not discounted. It's not uh, inflated. It's basically just normal mm. price, but. Mm. Yeah, I mean, like they usually the problem with this is in Southeast Asia they will probably just stock like one, uh, one single <laughs> deck box and then, uh, when it's gone, it's gone. Basically, that's the only catch, right? And then, so I contemplate, I saw it and then I was like, hmm, it's a little bit too pricey for my wallet right now. Like, so I just go and then hmm, I took, I maybe because of that I took the train to the airport and then I go back. Okay. Now I've thought a long time and then yeah I like that's the problem of yeah maybe like at that time Love Life was still popular uh, and then the, usually this uh, stores have like only like one or two stocks so if I don't buy it now I will probably not find it again for like uh, the near future so okay let's let's just buy it now and then I go back and then because I spent twenty minutes to go to the airport and go back to the expo <laughs> from the airport. Uh, plus waiting for the train uh, to go back to the expo. When I came back, it's gone. If yeah, if, within 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 twenty five minutes, it's gone. I mean, oh. just play normal. Yeah, but yeah, uh, in the end, in the end, I found it. Uh, I found the same deck box. Like I think when I go to Malaysia. Uh, so yeah, everything ends well. Everything ends well. But at that time, I was like. It was it was like uh, one of my uh, recent heartbreaks. <laughs> no, no, Zoe. <laughs> Why do you have to leave me like that? Yeah. Big L. Yeah, the good old times. It is. <laughs> you know, it's like my first time. Yeah, actually, with Vanguard, there's like lots of core memories unlocked right now, like because. Uh, one of my favorite cards is Tetra Drive Dragon. Uh, it's a card that can attack four times. <laughs> no, no, it, it can only attack twice. But it's basically basically like one of the first uh, Aqua Force unit that uh can uh, restand itself, so it, it can attack again. But yeah, I kind of feel like a special uh affinity, uh, like a special bond with this guy because uh of that one tournament. Uh, it was in quite a rural rural area and then I joined this tournament and then uh, it was in Singapore and I went there with uh, three of my friends and then two of my friends were like uh, they got eliminated early so they just uh, go and uh, go sightseeing in in Singapore and then uh, my other friend was 
also still continuing but he was like far away and then i was like uh the venue was really cold and then i uh between rounds i was like looking at my deck like you guys are my only friend for uh, this moment and then <laughs> in the uh i i yeah in the end i didn't uh qualify for the top eight but yeah still it was it was that moment where i feel like yeah Whenever I can make a deck with Tetra Drive inside, I always put Tetra Drive inside. Ah, uh, yeah, the good old times. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's that's why. I mean, probably that's why it's kind of hurts more when when God got reboot, uh, rebooted. Just so like I invest. I mean, like money aside, I invested too many emo. Like emo, I have too many inf- emotional investment in the game. So it's like. Yeah, it's. I mean, like technically, if I want to play premium, it's still the same game to some extent. But yeah, it's probably uh best to end it when when it's still beautiful in my eyes. <laughs> yeah. And anyway, Battle Spiritus has been has been uh, really fun. So yeah, <laughs> I I did not I did not regret any any decisions I made. Uh, especially looking at the two uh, Aikatsu special set that I just got delivered yesterday. <laughs> oh, I, I I I love I love how when you said that on my Facebook, which is grow to your post about the Aikatsu PB. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my my mine's also arrived, but it's like it's stuck in Hong Kong right now. Ah. Uh... Yeah, and uh, I still have to think um how I how 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 to use the cards efficiently. I was like, I, I, I saw the cards and I was thinking, hmm, <clears throat> I, can, I can probably make a good deck out of it. Mm-mm. I can't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah, it will probably, I will probably just buy a new album so at least they have some homes first and then I will see if I can actually use them. Like, I think the only <clears throat> one that caught I mean, my eyes. I can make a, I can make an Ichigo deck, but mm-hmm. like, that's about it. Mm-mm. Like, if you ask if a star in this deck is possible, nope, nope. Mm-hmm. Yeah, probably, probably nope. no. I mean, like, yeah, nope. yeah I kind of remember reading them and it's like, yeah, there's not enough of you guys to actually warrant you guys. No, to no, be no. It's team. like, no, they have enough. Mm-mm. It's just that. I don't understand why do they have to always be so high cost. Mm-hmm. Uh, like the minimum cost for one of those cards is cost five. It's like, for fuck's sake, man! Can you mm-hmm. make like can like at least one of them be like a cost researcher or something like that? Mm-hmm. So like, bruh. Yeah, bruh, but it's like, like their <laughs> it's their pinnacle performance, right? I don't. I mean, like, I don't know. Yeah, you are the one who watched Aikatsu, but yeah, I mean, like, I got the impression that this is like from their uh, last performance or something, <laughs> or at least somewhere when. Uh, or I, at I'm least some time. Go- I'm just gonna wear my nerd glasses right now. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah. <laughs> Story time with Ayu. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is not their last performance. Uh-huh. Ah, okay. It's just a. Uh, I mean, I don't actually like, despite the. F- I mean, to be fair, I don't watch a lot of idol shows. Like, Mm-mm. I cut is like the second one, really. So, like, mm-hmm. and like, I'm not an idol fan in general. So, I'm not, <clears throat> I'm not, afraid. I don't really understand like the idol cultures that much. But basically, oh, wait. Star <laughs> Aim is, is, uh, mm-hmm. is like a temporary group mm-hmm. that like eight of the most popular I cut to characters. Mm-hmm. Kind of group together and well form the group mm-hmm. uh well obviously in, in well the group exists in universe mm-hmm. but the group was made based on a real life poll mm-hmm. yeah yeah so like so like so like basically bandai ah, I see, I see, I see. to vote for like their most favorite characters and then like the top eight form a group together and ah. like uh and uh and uh apparently apparently in the anime they like they had they had a world tour a well a summer world tour mm-hmm. and uh that only lasted for like what two episodes this like they skipped so much like mm-hmm. when i was watching i was questioning myself 
You can make a whole arc out of this. Mm-mm. Why the fuck do you skip it? I need to know what they did. <laughs> I know, right? I mean, it's like God, so they made their own songs. There's no way there's on they or they are going to sing only one, right? Right? Ah, uh, they only sang one song. Yes. The... And it and it didn't and they didn't even try to make it a magic card. I was hoping that they made it a magic card. They didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they were they were definitely saving it for some for the next ele- like the eleven and if like eleven years anniversary or something. That's just a tent, right? Yeah, probably eleven. Eleven is the magic number. What? <laughs> eleven. <laughs> uh, okay, probably they are saving it for the eleven anniversary of Ikatsu. Probably eleven is the magic number. To be fair, I'm the, surprised. After copying, like, 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 I'm not. Su- I mean, I'm not surprised. Now that like they 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 like made the first 10th anniversary. Like, remember, this is the 10th anniversary for the, let's say, the first generation of iKatsu. Ah. Uh... And then like uh around like. Two years later. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be like the 10th anniversary of the second generation, and then like uh you know blah 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 so on so. Yeah. Um, I I don't know. I have Saga and Wise Wars now. Mm-mm. I can't really afford to put more money into the Japanese one. As, as ironic as it sounds, yes, I know. Mm-mm. But please, I'm not in Asia anymore. I can't put more money in this game. <laughs> <laughs> But you know, if the premium bundle only comes once every two years. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if you think it comes once every two years, then you're fucking wrong. <laughs> <laughs> what's the last? What's the last one last year though? Last year, I don't know the last. We had like uh... we had like three to four premium boxes this year. <laughs> well, no, I mean like the Aikatsu one. Well, the Aikatsu one this uh, well, yeah, this, I think this is the first, first one. one. Yeah, this is the first one. Yeah, yeah, because uh. Because like even though they could like they have enough contents to make mm-hmm. another whole set, yeah, they just didn't bother to. I mean, like I just want them. to, I just want to watch the world burn with uh, <laughs> the Ikatsu planet, planet one. Well, I mean they oh. have to kind of, <laughs> they kind of have to redraw everyone, right? That was so bad. <laughs> yeah. For sake. Oh my god! I I couldn't even bear to finish it. Like, Mm-mm. I'm fine with the whole half life action, half anime part of thing. Mm-mm. What I couldn't bear is watching the actresses Mm-mm. who are probably like twenty or even thirty something already, Mm-mm. and just act like he goes, oh. I'm gonna sing this song. Oh, fresh power! It's like, it's like, oh, mm. fuck my life, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. I mean, there, there, I mean, that was that was Very. practically why I didn't like love life stories, what, quote on or stories as well, because uh, there's like, I mean, the first generation was all right, like Muses was all right, but. It's like it's a it's a, it's a mostly because of nostalgia. Like, mm-hmm. do I like do I actually like the story? Not really. Like, like I just really hate all those friendship power kind of stuff because it's just unrealistic. Like, first of all, let's put it this way: when you form a band Mm-mm. or like a music group within the school. Mm-mm. Realistically, how many people are actually gonna ca- catch attention of that? Mm-mm. Like, even if say you're going into a national tournament, Mm-mm. stuff like that, how many people at your school actually know about it? Like, I can't even I can't even remember what my what my other pupils did in my mm-hmm. high school. What kind of process they got? I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> so like, so like, that's just like they they make, making in like in the Love Live universe, they making it such a big deal. Mm-mm. That's just like it's like, like I understand that's not supposed to be the focus, but still mm-hmm. like they try like, okay, okay, I, I can see why because they're trying to make it like as realistic as possible. Like they're trying to tell you. These things can 
can happen, you know, like, because it's supposed to be an encouragement to the idol fans. Like, if we can do this, you can do this as well, that kind of stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. So, 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 like, they're trying to make it as realistic as possible, but at the same time, it's just fucking not. Yeah. And, like, okay, 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 that, okay, that's fine. Like, okay, sure. If, like, Love Live is that famous in your world, I mean, mm -hmm. okay, I get it. But, like, Imagine like you, be like second thing. Everyone loves the school. No, they fucking don't. Okay, <laughs> like, like like literally in like in because like because like the whole premise of the anime is that the school like the school where Muses was in mm -mm. uh was going to be gone. Yeah, I think that I think that yeah, was yeah. the storyline. I'm not sure mm -hmm. if that's just Aquas. Uh, I think nah, it's the they, same. They're same. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's the same in Mills. No, no, yeah, no. So, and, so Aqua, Aqua at first, they don't uh, have their school are going to be gone thingy and then season two starts and then suddenly, yeah, our school is are going to be gone. Now we are going to have like the same success story as views. Like, what oh. the fuck, you guys? You, your school oh is yeah. going to be gone. You guys are in the rural area, not like... Mills is in Tokyo, right? Like, if their school is gone, they can just go to another school. But they are... Like, in the Aqua girls are like in the rural area so if their school is gone then they will probably have to commute to another city or something it's much of a bigger deal i think <laughs> like okay, why no, are you guys I, happy I, I, about I, I this what I mean. but i i mean i suppose at the same time like if you've been at a school for a long time mm -mm. you'll probably get attached to it but mm -mm. I suppose the i suppose the fairies from people to people like i'm literally speaking as someone who fucking hates my school mm -mm. So, so so yeah but like still okay sure there will be people who like their school so mm -hmm. much that they want to save it but at the same time it won't be everyone in the school but somehow like in love life they make it so that everyone wants to save the school mm -hmm. it's like i i I can't bear this. This is not possible, okay? <laughs> Someone is gonna fucking hate them. There are haters, but obviously they were not gonna show that because it's supposed uh -uh. to be a happy go lucky anime. Uh -uh. And 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 then the first thing is how like when Muses was about to fail, of course the whole school was prepared for that and then say, <laughs> Hey, we support you. Look at this huge banner that we actually made in secret. <laughs> and 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 then Muses is like, oh, now we have the power of friendship. Oh, our our performance is suddenly one hundred percent better, and then we win love life. Oh. How amazing that is for my life! <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> but yes, but, <laughs> but yeah, 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 I guess I guess I get what you mean because like if, if we are talking about unreal unrealistic, but it needs to be realistic in the in the sense of the world, right? Like it's. Also, like if you remember, like the first card by Vanguard, like uh, Kai is not a uh, tip like your typical rich guy, right? And then he went to the same school as Ren, and then suddenly Ren just uh, become he received like the mystical power to see, like, to see what the cards wants to do, and then uh, he suddenly has the money to built like a facility to train card <laughs> gamers like oh, I mean, like God. okay so uh okay so i get the part where the card game is really popular in the crazy. universe <laughs> but like where did he get this money <laughs> oh, uh, oh he, he probably he probably saw like his whole collection of <laughs> Well, I guess I guess I mean, so like I, mean, a... I, mean, I mean, I I once I once told my mom that, hey mom, do you do you know how much money I would get if I try to sell my whole BS collection right now? Mm -hmm. And then she was like, how much? And like, Five thousand Hong Kong dollars. And then she was like, what the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah I I got pretty much the same uh reaction from my friend when I, he didn't actually ask me like my whole collection, but he asked me like. So how much did you spend uh, on card games like in a year? And then I thought, told him like, okay, so I spend on average like 100 to 200 uh, euro per month, uh, sometimes more. So I guess on average, I spend around 25,000 euro per, eh, 2,500 euros per year. And it was like, you Bruh. what, mate? <laughs> you, you what, mate? <laughs> you what, mate? You know, what, right? mate? <laughs> Nani? 
<laughs> nah nih <laughs> like he was like okay so okay so let let me try to understand this so you are uh <laughs> You're playing this game like once a month, and then you spend twenty five hundred thousand euro per year for this. Yeah, uh, yes. <laughs> oh my Addiction god! Addiction to its finest. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, like yeah. So yeah, it's like so you have addiction. I also like to know, right? Like whether uh uh the which is worse, like uh I. bought like some cans of red bull to finish my thesis and then now there are some left right and then this morning uh i only have like two hours of sleep and then i have a meeting with my professor and then i just this red bull is actually the first thing that got into my stomach this morning uh i just comfortably chuck it now i don't know if it's uh whether that is more dangerous or my uh, attachment to programming is more dangerous because Uh, what kept me all night was actually like, hmm, I can I, I look at my code and then I can fix this. <laughs> <laughs> I can fix you. <laughs> and then when I realized it's like, uh, because like the same time it's like okay, so maybe if I op- uh sleep at uh two or three, I can uh wake up on time for my meeting at eleven. So it's like yeah. Maybe I'll uh, try until uh, 3 a.m. If I can't make it, then I'll just uh, I'll just bow to my professor. Sorry, I couldn't make it in time. But then I was like, mm. I look at my code and then no, I can I can finish this in one hour. I can finish this in one hour, and I still have like a uh, five hours of sleep. I kept on, I kept on saying that to myself until it's like uh, say about so uh, eight a.m. and then like. Uh well I guess now I have, I really 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 have to sleep uh, I can uh, hold it anymore I just I'll just hope that I can wake up on time I'll just take a short nap thankfully I did uh, was able to wake up on time but yeah that was yeah. like and even then it was like uh, I think I still have like the remaining caffeine from uh, the Red Bulls so I was like that was like today I was like uh. Listening while listening to the meeting, my professor was like, "Can you finish this? Like, can you finish like the small part today?" Like, I was like, "Yeah, why not?" Uh, and then I was like, "Yeah." When I uh, after I muted myself, I just start on clicking. It was like, oh. <laughs> so I can do this. <laughs> so I could have done this. I could have just uh, listened to a meeting and uh, type codes, and then well, I basically finished it like uh, half an hour after the meeting, but still. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god! I feel like I feel like uh, my attachment to program is sometimes a little bit unhealthy because it's like I'm doing this job. I feel like uh, aside from the money, it's like uh, the in job satisfaction. I was like, yeah, I'm doing all this for like this five minutes of feeling good after my code works, and then after that, I found another bug, and then uh, I feel uh, I feel worthless. I feel like my uh, six years of career and four years of education means nothing. <laughs> <laughs> And now my whole uh, now my whole day is ruined. <laughs> <Bruh. laughs> Wait, but uh, well, I mean, at least uh, at least you're kind of attached to work. Mm-mm. Like compare like to most people where they literally just work for money. Mm-mm. I mean, you're you're kind of in a pretty good spot. Mm-mm. So, like, actually, like, actually, yesterday my friend. Mm-mm. Like ask me like three a.m. Well, my three a.m. Cause uh, he's in Malaysia. But mm-hmm. <laughs> but like but like he's like he's he's basically trying to rest to me because of how like bad his work condition was, mm-hmm. and and then like he asked me uh like what was it like he 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 like quit his job mm-hmm. and try to uh pursue p- pursue his hobby or like just like keep his job and then mm-hmm. like. And I was like, um, I mean, I don't really know how unbearable your situation is, but mm. like, <clears throat> obviously, like you will want a stable income, like at least mm. one stable income. Like, like I, I've learned from somewhere before. I think it was my mom, or it was like uh, one of my friends who mm-hmm. told me that like, if you like, if you want to be financially stable, you need at least three sources of income. <clears throat> Cause like so like then cause like then like if you lose one, Mm-mm. you're not gonna be like oh shit 
I don't have any more money in the mm-hmm. in the future, like that kind of stuff. But yeah, so uh, so like if it's as bad as how my friend described it, then like that is literally his only source of income. So 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 I was like, yeah, and like you even said like you you might even try to take your savings. Mm-hmm. Don't do that. That's literally mm-hmm. your last line of insurance. Let's mm-hmm. say it that way. Yes. Uh, like you shouldn't take your savings out mm-hmm. unless it's a life endangered emergency let's say mm-hmm. this way yeah, yeah. uh and but then like uh it's a but at, at the end i didn't give him a concrete answer obviously because i Mm-mm. i don't have as much experience on, in terms of like looking for jobs or like being an adult in general mm-hmm. <laughs> so, so uh, but like basically my advice at the end what to him was uh if you can if if you actually know what you're doing at the very least uh then sure quit your job but like you have to know what if you fail what what else can you do and mm-hmm. also what if you succeed what else can you do from there mm-hmm. then so so like so like that's the thing i gave him i basically literally gave him like a 15 minutes ted talk mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm, yeah, yeah. that's actually like a really interesting mm, interesting yeah, point of view because like yeah, people always consider like whenever they made their plan b it's always like so what do we do when we fail but it's like nobody really plans like what do we do when we succeed yeah 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 that's a yeah because like it's actually something recently that i i've followed uh i mean it's it's like literally because of saga Mm-mm. So like, I also I actually also just quit my job. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm going to quit my job mm-hmm. before I come to Germany. Mm-hmm. Uh, so and so, but like after that and after like after the summer, which I would go back home and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I would literally have no jobs. Mm-hmm. But um, but like my current plan, which is like kind of like a very wild plan. I know a, a wild dream. I know mm-hmm. uh, it's like to actually focus. On being like a better player in Saga, mm-hmm. it's like obviously it's a it's a very risky play in some in some sense because Saga just started, mm-hmm. and we don't know like how long it will last and stuff mm-hmm. like that. But I think at the moment it's still maintainable just because of like how much cash money you can actually get from them. Mm-hmm. So like you know if you if you can calculate your your travel fee well. Mm-hmm. You're practically earning from playing Saga, if, even if it's just like a little bit. Uh, mm-hmm. Like if you get even like top thirty-two or something like that. Mm-hmm. So 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 like so like that's kind of my plan. Especially since like if I can win, well, not even win. If I can get you know into top thirty-two mm-hmm. in the Germany Grand Open, then I can go to the America, mm-hmm. and then like if I get top for top. You know, top sixty four there, then I can go to the championship. It's like it's like a steamroll. If I can keep going, then like it's practically be pretty smooth for me. Even even if I don't get first place, Mm-mm. so so that's that's kind of that's kind of my plan. And then like as I said before, what to do if you succeed? And like this this is because like I thought about how if I I mean it's a very rare. I mean because like. Is it literally as it sounds? I'm gonna be what well, I I might be. Let's say this way. I'm not. <laughs> I'm mm-hmm. not gonna be sounding that that much confident. But like, <laughs> if mm-hmm. I, I might be literally like the top sixteen players, etc. of Europe, yeah. and that's only sixteen people with this role. Mm-hmm. So I can take this chance to you know. <clears throat> Maybe do some more YouTube videos, mm. do some more gameplay videos, kind of stuff. Maybe mm. I can use this chance to actually start to make a, you know, to start to kind of raise a YouTube channel, and maybe eventually I will be a YouTuber. You know that kind mm. of stuff. Yeah. So like, so like, it's just like that's that's why like I start thinking of everything like that, and then like obviously like, so if I want to continue to play Saga, that means I'm going to be traveling a lot. Mm-mm. That means. A job which make me sit by a desk isn't going to work, Mm-mm. so I will need a remote job. Mm-mm. Um, 
either just keep from series or I can maybe try to be an online teacher, Mm-mm. but not, not for Saga, obviously. <laughs> like, <laughs> not like teach, an English online teacher, for example, mm-hmm. like, like, like stuff like that. So, so yeah, this is a, yeah, this is like a lot, like it's literally just playing a game, but there's still a lot to think about, mm-hmm. but obviously I haven't, su- I haven't succeeded yet, but you gotta admit like any, anyone who managed to make a career out of their hobby is because they managed to think this many things and like mm-hmm. getting prepared for it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so yeah, deep stuff, TED talk. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah. yeah, I can, I kind of, kind of, can kind of relate to that because I also wanted a remote job mostly because, uh, the, I mean, like I'm in Germany, right? But I can't really speak good German. So it's like, if I wanted to get a better chance of getting a job, it's going to be in Berlin or Mun- uh, or Munich or Frankfurt, uh, in which the, and in which the living costs will be much higher and then yeah. the environment will be way different than in, uh, North Rhine Westphalia. So it was like, it's going to be like a big change. Uh, and then I will be far away from my family, which is also like a big part in which, uh, in why I was able to enjoy my life here. Right. So it's like, mm. a, there will be like lots of changes that will be need to be made. So if I can get a remote job, then I can at least, okay. So I'll just uh, work from, uh, Dusseldorf area. And then now, uh, I can still enjoy what I've enjoyed so far. And then I can get the benefit of actually getting a job. Uh, from Munich mm-hmm. or from Frankfurt, and then yeah, I guess like there's actually like lots of uh company nearby as well, like Trifago. Uh, Trifago is uh, in Dusseldorf, so it's that going to be uh, like a remote job. Actually, the one that's going to be a remote job is like your favorite company, are you Grammarly? <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I think that office was in is in Berlin or something. So it's like. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. no wonder that English sucks. No, I'm, just I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you know, it's it's also like kind of a, like a joke that uh, nobody in Berlin speaks German. It's like when I, when my uh, when Marco, our German friend, wants to uh, he wants to visit Amamia in Berlin, right? I was like. I was like uh, jokingly just said to him like, "Are you going to be okay?" Like everybody don't, every, uh, nobody speaks German in uh, Berlin, you know. Like, <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, I guess we're just being extreme, but yeah, I mean, like there are more expats in Berlin, so like the pressure to speak German is much lower in Berlin. So it's like, uh... <laughs> yeah, no, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. <sighs> interesting stuff. But yeah, I guess let's look forward to your trip in Germany. Uh, and yeah, if you, as you have uh, heard today, you have spoken about travels and a little bit of a pep talk from Ayumu if you wanted to pursue your dreams. But if you would like to ask to talk about other stuff uh, or you want to ask us any specific questions, uh, do feel free to send us any of your questions. Or to our email at the refresher podcast at gmail.com. Guess that's all we have for today. We hope that you guys had a nice week going forward, and we'll see you all in the next turn. Bye bye. Bye bye.